Hey guys, Jason here with TheMuscleProgram.com. Today I'm going to give you a chest and back workout that you can do at home with dumbbells. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and ding the little bell so that you're notified every time I put out a video with workouts like this. Now there's only two things you need to do this workout, a pair of dumbbells and a bench. Now we're going to go through this chest and back workout with dumbbells together right here in the comfort of your own home. Don't get too comfortable. But I just want to go over a few notes about the workout. So there's going to be six total exercises, three for chest, three for back. We're going to alternate a chest and back exercise. So we'll do a chest, a back, a chest, a back, and so forth. And we're going to do this like one giant circuit. So we're going to go through all six exercises with about 20 seconds of rest between each set. Once we finish that circuit, we'll do the whole thing one more time. All right, so our first exercise is just going to be a regular dumbbell press. We're just going to lay flat. We're going to do 10 reps. One. All right, now we're gonna rest about 15 or 20 seconds before we go to the next exercise, and we're gonna get set up for that now. So I want you to just kinda lean forward, don't round your back, just have a slight arc in there, and we're gonna do rows, just like bent over rows that you do with a barbell, but we're doing these with a dumbbell instead. So 10 reps. All right, next, we're gonna get back on the bench. Gonna rest a few seconds here. About, we'll do about 15, 20 second rest in between these sets here, okay? Our next exercise is gonna be dumbbell flies. All right, so we're gonna lay back down. Don't go to sleep. All right, how are we doing so far? <laughs> now we're going to go to another back exercise. Take a few seconds, catch your breath. Again, about 15 to 20 second rest. So we're going to lay one dumbbell down by the bench. Our next exercise is going to be single arm dumbbell rows. So you kind of want to brace yourself here, just like this. Grab the dumbbell, just pull it up. 10 reps. Okay, now we need to do the other arm. Good. Now it's time for another chest exercise. I'm going to move this bench so that you can see this. We're going to do an old school kind of forgotten exercise here for chest called pullovers, dumbbell pullovers. So I'm going to switch this around. What you're going to do is just kind of lay the middle of your back across the bench here. Pull the dumbbell up and just kind of let your arms fall back, just like that.
All right. We're almost done, guys. We've got one more exercise, and this is going to be our final back exercise. So I want you to grab both dumbbells. Then remember the rows we did earlier. We did them with the supinated grip. This time I want you to reverse the grip, underhand grip like that. Bend over, or not bend over, but lean forward. Have that slight arch in your back, and just pull up with a reverse grip. Awesome. Now, we're going to go through this routine one more time. I want you to just take about a minute here to catch your breath. And while you're resting, so let's go over some of these exercises in depth. Again, we're going to rest about a minute here. When you're, when you're pushing, when you're doing a dumbbell press, make sure you're getting that deep stretch. And when you push out, make sure you're contracting those muscles, those chest muscles. Same for flies. When you're doing your flies, you know, don't bend your arms too much, but when you're coming in like that, make sure those muscles are contracting because that's what's really going to build that muscle. And now with back, back is an interesting body part to train. Sometimes it's hard for people to really feel that muscle working, so you've really got to connect your mind to that muscle and really force that muscle to work. And that's why we do a little bit slower reps in a full range of motion the best you can. That's really gonna help that muscle work harder. And that's the whole goal of this, of this training session here. All right, so about a minute's up now. Let's go through this routine one more time, guys. Remember, we're starting out with just good old fashioned dumbbell press here. Chest back, chest back. Here we go, 10 reps. rest about 15 to 20 seconds here and we're going to go to our bent over rows remember we're doing the overhand the supinated grip for our bent over rows here and we're doing these with dumbbells remember not to round your back don't ever round your back on any exercise keep a slight arch in there okay ready pull these into the lower part of your torso another 15 20 seconds here and we're going to do another chest exercise remember we did dumbbell flies this next time so here you know you really want that deep stretch at the bottom but make sure you're contracting that muscle at the top of that movement the peak of the movement okay 10 reps Up, I like to hold a little bit. All right, now let's get set up for our dumbbell rows. To make it easy, I'll put a dumbbell on each side of the bench here. A few more seconds rest. We like to catch our breath just a little bit between these sets, okay? So let's get ready. Let's go. Next arm, we don't want really any rest between these sets here, okay? All 
right, good. So I'm going to switch my bench around just so you can see this next exercise better. You don't have to do this at home. It's just for the purpose of this video. But now we're going to do our dumbbell pullovers. And again, this is kind of helping build those muscles that tie in between your chest and your lats. Okay? 10 reps. All right, good. Last exercise this is gonna be our bent over rows again. But remember, we're gonna be doing these with the reverse grip, the underhand grip, okay? Ready? Let's go. 10 reps. Feel free to go through this circuit one more time if you want. Now, I've got a blog post on themuscleprogram.com that gives you an entire workout you can do with dumbbells at home. There's a link to that blog post in the description of this video. I really hope you got a good chest and back pump from this dumbbell workout that you can do right here at home. So if you have any questions, just leave those in the comments. Thank you so much for watching my video, and remember, excuses don't build muscle.